that starts going on. Well, I mean, I need... I got something in my eyes. Time to play last time. Last okay. place to go. <laughs> Star Trek. <laughs> we better move that up the set list. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, that makes sense. I was doing it over there and then <laughs> You were the voice of God. The voice of the literal voice of God, yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to get started. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, still hello. I'm on. Oh, there I am. <laughs> well, welcome to the Two Way Street Coffee House. Uh, my name is John. I'm one of the uh, directors here. I'm the guy who takes money at the door. The guy who introduces the band. What else do I do? Anything else it needs doing. Now, we are hybrid again this week. So you could either be here live, like you are, or we have a camera mounted on the ceiling. Um, the good news is it only so shows the stage. So if you're not supposed to be here, not to worry. <laughs> and we are a listening room, which means when the performers are performing, we are listening. Um, and like I say, we're, we're still following CDC guidelines uh, that masks are suggested but not required. Pretty much I think everybody has gotten that message. <laughs> <laughs> we're an all-volunteer staff. Uh, tonight we have Miss Jennifer behind the counter, Joel working the sound, Tim working the camera, and my name is? Thank you. <laughs> that joke never gets old. <laughs> We've been in operation for 51 years in this room. And uh, I wasn't here personally, but yeah, the, every Friday night, 51 years, 52 Fridays, you do the math. Lots of people have come through here. So tonight we've got Jonas Friddle. Yeah. And uh, he's brought a couple of friends. Got Andrew on the bass. Hey, Andrew. Anna on the. Uh, the Whatever this is. We'll call it a fiddle. Okay. It's good. When you're in a coffee house, it's a fiddle. Yeah. yeah. When you're at a, on a you know big stage, it's a it's a violin. We'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> so Jonas has a flyer on the table. You can check him out. Check out his bio. And um, so, guys, are you about ready for music? Yeah. Sure. Are. All right. Well, then I'm going to uh, step away. Take it away, guys. Thanks so much, Joe. Thank you. Bob. Thanks, Bob. Bob. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> I have been the sidewalk chalk just before the rain I have been wondering where the sun will come again I have been all the time, I'm now no never I have been, I have been under the weather I have been so much better Back when we've been close together That has been, seems like forever I have been under the weather Times now ain't nothing like they used to be Used to I could say your name, you be next to me Now it echoes empty streets, swept up like a feather Rolling in the dirty wind under the weather
storm to pass Counting seconds from the thunder to the lightning claps But come back to me quickly when the times are better When we get out from under the weather I have been so much better But when we've been close together That has been, seems like forever I have been under the weather Under the weather Hi, everybody. I'm just going to move this up to a more appropriate height. I felt a little <laughs> like I was like, getting a little navel gazy, and that's not my vibe, y'all. <laughs> Thanks for coming out and being here tonight. I've been trying to get down this way for, for a while now since I met Joel, uh, uh, you know, a couple years ago before everything. And uh, I got to do a little bit of a live, live stream when that was the thing that was going on, and now I'm happy just to be live, I think. So, uh, yeah, I've got Anna and Andrew with me. We're going to play some songs here, uh, some tunes that we've uh, put together, and then, you know, a couple of uh, covers from the old folk genre. Um, I hope you like banjos. <laughs> Good. Came to the right place. Those of you who know me know this is a small number, of, a small number of banjos for what you might see sometimes. Oh my God, I got a tech. <laughs> Just two banjos tonight. That's how that thing works. Fewer banjos, same amount of tuning. I don't want to go to San Antonio and watch you lose your money at the table. I didn't leave my home to get stuck here in your arm. Wouldn't trade a prison for a cradle. I will go. In me, I'll tell the road, rise and meet me, where the heart won't be stable. I'm a free girl, free girl, I travel where I'm able. Now the breeze through the fences, it's the wild breath of Texas. No man's ever shoot her foot or let her buy a bridle. But your saddle's made of leather and your silver spurs are jangle. She's a free girl, she'll travel where she's able. And I will go where I send me. I tell the road, rise and meet me. With a heart, follow me, stable. I'm a free girl, free girl, I travel where I'm able.
Thank you. How's everybody doing on this balmy spring <laughs> evening? <laughs> I brought the wrong jacket. I went for what we call the uh, what the Canadian tuxedo. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. I brought the jean jacket the with the jeans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm. Hey, banjo tech, you want? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gotcha. Why two banjos, you ask? This one's my fretless banjo, and it was it, it is here on a very specific Nobody special asked. request. Nobody I was emailed Nobody ahead of time. Nobody actually asked. <laughs> <laughs> I swear somebody did. They emailed me and asked me to bring this banjo. <laughs> <sighs> I did pay some money for it, so I do need to get, you know. For, for, for the sake of a happy marriage, I need to prove it is a useful tool. <laughs> um, so... Uh, I wrote those first two numbers, and now we're going to play a Mississippi John Hurt tune for you. One of my favorite early blues uh, guitar players. Um, and this is my version of a, a, a tune he had called Let the Mermaids Flirt With Me. If you get too much fretless banjo tonight, that's who you have to blame right there. <laughs> I do appreciate the request. It is my favorite instrument to play. Uh, but I will trade the five strings for the six for this next tune. Oh. 
There's an art to it. This guitar is no slouch either. It's a considerable bit m older than myself. And in, it's been doing better work than I've been doing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just had brisket from your place down the uh, down the street here. What's that place called, Joel? Pierce. Pierce Cavern. <laughs> Pierce Tavern. <laughs> Pierce Tavern. Who's ever had the brisket from old Pierce Tavern? There we go. Yeah. All right. It holds up all right. Any. I, I was telling Joel. I came into town. I was looking for a little bit of food, and I said, any anything that says house smoked meats is pretty much where I. <laughs> Where I go, so I, I I put my nose up for the old mesquite or the hickory, and I walk that way. And um, it's appropriate. We got a barbecue song right. for you, right? You want to do a barbecue you know. song? Sure, why not? <laughs> Does Downers Grove famous for a, a particular kind of barbecue? <laughs> <laughs> not your claim to fame. Okay. Is it famous for a type of food? Does it have a thing, like a kind of pie or something? <laughs> yeah, oh, ice, ice sculptures. sculptures. Yeah, well, I, so I, I grew up in North Carolina. We have, we have a particular style of barbecue, but we have zero styles of ice sculptures. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. So the Carolina style is okay. <laughs> oh, yeah? What's the style? Oh, okay. What's the what's the what should I get there? Yeah. You're gonna have dessert, mm. little dessert brisket. All right. Mm. It sounds like second barbecue after the gig. <laughs> 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 what are you, a hobbit? Well, this one's got my recipe up top on it. So if you'd like to make barbecue, I'm gonna tell you how right now. <laughs> this one's called low and slow. Smoker to 225. You salt the pork shoulder overnight. You rub in the cayenne, the mustard, and the pepper. Pull out your folding chair, you sit there forever. If there's one thing I know how to do, I make the pulled pork barbecue. And you sit in the smoke, I watch the world go up in flames. Up in Some people want to give up the ghost. Some visualize what they want the most. I some see Jesus in a piece of toast. When times get hard, I ain't no chicken, don't know he's dead. I'm playing kickball with his own head. I'm iced tea, babe, I'm Wonder Bread. I keep it cool in my backyard. Cause there's one thing I know how to do. What's that? Barbecue and I sit in the smoke Watch the world go up in flames You keep it slow, real slow You make it low, or so low
everybody wants to be the boss. Everybody got the special sauce. You got somewhere to be, baby, that's your loss. Cause all I want is my time. All I want is my time. It's my, my, my. All I want is my time. It's my, my, my. my, my. All I want is my time. Mine, mine, all I want is my time. Mine, 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 all I want is my time. Mine, 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 all I want is my time. Why, and if there's one thing I'm gonna do with it, I make a pull, pull barbecue with it sitting in the smoke. So the world go up in flames. Up in flames. That's right, up in flames. Up in flames Why, thank you. <laughs> Surprise kazoo attack, everybody. <laughs> Gotta watch out for those sneaky things. I absolutely love that Woody Guthrie poster that's on the back wall over there. Mm -hmm. I have that one at the Old Town School of Folk Music where I'm... Uh, uh, a, a teacher, as well as Anna and, and Andrew here, and I get to see that in the in the lobby there of the building where I see some of you folks sometimes. I see some of your happy faces. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> 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 Let's not be cagey about it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, oh, and uh, hmm. we're going to do this next tune here. This was a song I wrote... Uh, a friend, one of the one of the uh, many pandemic projects that happened for pe folks who are used to getting out and doing things to keep themselves busy. A, a, a friend of ours, uh, Jenny Bienemann, put together a little project where um, she sent out some haikus. She's a haiku expert, which is a very specific specific skill. And she sent out some haikus to see if people would kind of compose um, uh, some original songs or wanted to around some of the things she had done and uh, she sent me one and, and uh, it was beautiful and this is what I, I came up with. I hope it does it some justice. <laughs> it's called Two Tin Cans and a Fishing Line. almost a description of this guitar. <laughs> Morning moon You found me alone And we both shone crazy around the city tonight two tired reflections of yesterday's light now here's the sign ah don't be sad I'll call you sometime on two in cans and a fishing line Morning moon Ah, you're the one I didn't think we'd make it but here we are sleeping together on the hood of a car. Now here's the sun. Ah, oh, don't be sad. I'll call you sometime. On two tin cans and fishing.
garden is calling from the cockpit to a tree. Morning moon You saw me alone I'll call you sometime On two tin cans and a fishing line Thank you. You guys seem like nice people. Plaid from the island of Milwaukee. He sailed a train through the waves of grain that Midwest American sea. He capsized in Kansas, took a job in a car, driving strangers to parties at night. And they all tipped him these words of wisdom how to get his shipwreck right. They say every trial was a gift from God. They look you in the eye, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. That's just meanness wrapped up in a lie. Bright as a penny, smart as the crack of a whip. Stayed in school where he followed the rules. Now he's out there working for tips. From the big bank building, birds look like they're swimming. Below them in an ocean of blue. Ah, down here I find I'd rather be blind than to see from my point of view. They say every trial's a gift from God. They look you in the eye, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. It's just meanness wrapped up in a lie. stand or a refund on taxes I've paid but oh say can you see what trickles to me it don't seem much like lemonade they say dust yourself off get back in the game Lord there's plenty of fish in the sea but heavens help those who have helped themselves don't you know they left nothing for me they say every trial is a gift from God they look you in the eye Pull yourself up by your bootstraps It's just meanness wrapped up in a lie I'll pull yourself up by your own bootstraps It's just meanness It's just mean It's just meanness wrapped up in a lie Thank you. We have moved to our Old Testament section of the evening. <laughs> Stoppers. 
Are you having bass related problems? It's Are you really, sure? it's rare, it's rare that the bass player, the th upright bass player, gets to, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You look, you look. Are you, are you, are you comfortable? Yeah. You look comfortable. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this Gibson's from 1935. It's better every year. <laughs> Sam's son was a lover, though he killed a thousand men. Sweet as any honey pulled from a lion's head. Hard as any jawbone, but when it came to a woman's bed, Samson was a lover, and this is what he said. What would I, I do for love? What would I, I do for love? Would I do what I have to, like everybody does? What would I, I do for love? Samson was a fox catcher and a fire starter too. And he struck his match at the Philistines. He laid them in their tombs. But the fire in his heart did his own mind consume. And I can feel that heat, darling, when I'm next to you. Delilah had linen and leather in her room. Water filled the bottle which once held perfume. And she smelled just like the evening in the afternoon. And as she dressed herself, she sang this little tune. What did I do for love? What did I do for love? Did I do what I have to like everybody does? What did I, I do for love? And Samson was a lover, and it made his mind forget Until he heard the sound of silver as she asked for his secrets And he lied like a schoolboy, till at last he did relent Samson had a lover and took a razor to his head. And Samson was a lover and love is famous blind. Though they took his body prisoner, was the Lila ruled his mind. And you might call him a martyr, you might say suicide. Ah, but Samson was a lover, and like a lover cried, What would I, I do for love? What would I, I do for love? Would I stand between the pillars? Give them both a shove. What would I, I do for love? Oh, I heard this story a thousand times and still I look at you I wrap the question round my wrist baby what would I do if you ask me for my secret I tell you darling true 
Cause Samson was a lover, and I'd be the same for you. Samson was a lover, and I'd be the same for you. Samson was a lover. Thank you. That's Anna Jacobson playing the fiddle there for you. We'll go back. Sherry, this next one's for you. I'm going to pull that fretless banjo out. Is that all right? All right. No, I've been talking about I've been talking about my instruments so much. You you have a you have a, a Wisconsin made violin. Am I am no I German? A ger wait, what, did you have two violins? Mm, I do. You do. One of them was made in Chicago. In Chicago. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, apparently, they don't make uh, violins in Wisconsin. <laughs> as many as I thought they I'm did. I'm sure they do, <laughs> but uh, I'm not playing. How long have you had that one? Uh, I, I've had this forever. I it is the only full size violin I had until that other one came along a few years ago. So I, I guess since whenever I, high school, something like that, middle school even. That has been know. forever. <laughs> forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This bass, not so long, right? Uh, no. Long. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Now, now you're all caught up. <laughs> it's the most interesting stage talk you've ever heard, right? <laughs> Just us sitting here talking about our instruments. Who here's a banjo player? Oh, they came to a table together. Yeah. <laughs> they usually cluster, y'all. Watch out. Like cockroaches. Any bass players? Upright bass players in the crowd? There we go. There we go. Ah. And we'll we got any fiddlers? French horn? Fiddlers, French yeah, horn? French horn. Yeah. Obo obo. As long as we're serving. As long as we're serving. Kazoo. kazoo. Everyone's a kazoo. Everyone's a kazoo player. That's you don't right. When is that National Kazoo Day? I don't ever remember. There is a National Kazoo there Day, is. and one of my good friends, Skip Lant, up at the Old Town School of Folk Music, he walks around. He has kazoos and a little comic book about kazoos, and he gives them out. It's like it's like Christmas. <laughs> but with kazoos. A K. With, but a K. with a K. <laughs> We'll keep it Old Testament for one more tune here. Baby in a picnic basket The size of a country ham Only three months old The old pharaoh Called him a wanted man mm -hmm. Ten fingers, ten toes Two eyes, one nose His mother's heart on a string you didn't hear cry by the river last night you weren't listening hey, hey, hey. young moses in the bulrushes that's what she's hoping to find go on and ask the good lord where he gets his ideas from he never asked me for mine By the lakefront on the 4th of July, I remember the whole town was there. Jenny had sparklers in both of her hands, drawing her name in the air. Hey, 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 hey. And don't it fly like glitter, like a lightning bug flittering, catching her dress as she runs. Her own mother saw her fall in the water. Like a beautiful piece of the sun. 
Hey, 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 hey. Young Moses in the bulrushes. That's what she's hoping to find. Go on and ask the good Lord where he gets his ideas from. He never asked me for mine. Well, the river was busy in the low morning sun with the laundry and the children at play. The Pharaoh's own daughter even washed in the water clean as Christmas Day. And the wind in the grass made the baby boy laugh. And the sound drew her in like a fish. The louder the cry came from nearby, the harder she started to wish. Sounds like this. Jenny came back to classes in dark sunglasses and gloves from her thumbs to elbows. And the burns she hid, she showed us kids answers that only she knows. Like what do you think that she saw in the tall grass? A bullfrog or a forgotten shoe? What she saw there was the fine brown hair two eyes to stare back at you. Hey, 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 hey. It's young Moses in the bulrushes. That's what she's hoping to find. Go on and ask the good Lord where he gets his ideas from. He never asked me for mine. He never asked me. Thank you. John very help, uh, helpfully informed us there's a clock right there. He said, you might not know what time it is, but there's a clock. <laughs> and then I said, well, what's a clock? Uh, and where are the phones at? <laughs> I have a clock in my house, and the battery died s seven years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and it is said the same time. <laughs> 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 Who wants to get up on a stool and get that thing down? Um, this clock's telling me we're going to do one more tune for this set, and we'll take ourselves a little bit of break, and then, uh, and then we'll come back for another set of music, but, uh, and hopefully you'll come back and join us for that. I haven't played this song in a while. I, I, I put it away for a little bit. Um, I wrote this song maybe about 10 years ago, and uh, was uh, fortunate enough to um, win the John Lennon Songwriting Award with it, and uh, that kind of uh, set me set me more seriously along a uh, path of songwriting and uh, and is um, which has been a uh, just a big part of my life and an, an important part of my day-to-day -day, uh, person who I am I would John Baptiste just won uh, a Grammy if you saw that and he said something in his speech uh, that really uh, resonated with me about uh, music is not uh, a form of entertainment for him it's a spiritual practice uh, is what he said and I was like well that kind of puts a nice little finger on it. It's uh, it's uh, uh, it's just something that I've uh, I do because I, I I feel it and and it makes me feel better and I share it because I, I hope it I hope that some of that comes across when we do it. So this is uh, a, a, an important song for me. I'm going to play it for you. And it's called the uh, the Belle de Louisville.
I searched the river from the top of the hill Looking for the Belle de Louisville There on the river I love so well Rolls the Belle de Louisville And all my rivers they run back south Baby in the cradle now hush your mouth in Chicago You know the climate don't suit my clothes Freeze my fingers and my blood runs cold Can't even pick my old banjo And all my rivers they run back south Baby in the cradle now hush your mouth the shoes I followed that girl that I could not lose I promised my love and my life she would only be my wife and she caused me to weep and to moan ah she caused me to leave my home yeah all my babies they run back south it's baby in the cradle now hush your mouth Thanks, everybody. We'll take a short break and we'll be back in just a little bit. Here comes John to tell you all about it, I bet. Yes, uh, we are going to take a short break and then we'll be back for a second set. Uh, if you are in need of the washroom, you go out the door and hang a left. There's two of them down there. Uh, the break usually lasts until there's no line for the washroom. So you can refill your glass, you can get some snacks, uh, do whatever you're going to do, and uh, chit chat in the meantime. We'll be back shortly.
And while these guys uh, do a little uh, tidy up over here on their uh, things, um, next Friday we have a, a guy coming in first time. His name is Cray Van Kirk. And he is like real famous on East Coast. So he's now kind of making a, a Midwest uh, appearance out here. I read a little about him. He's actually got a PhD in some science, and he just decided, I just soon play music. So after all of that time, he's, uh, he's just playing music. And uh, uh, oh, another thing here, uh, Jewel Irvin, for those of you who know him, uh, the Fox Valley Folk Fest, been around uh, forever. Hello, Joel. I believe he's joined us tonight via the uh, camera. Hello, Joel. Joel, I'm sorry. He informed me, or he informed us, that today is Natu National Banjo Day. And did, did you know that? Nope. So, I, didn't, I didn't get my card. I didn't get my yeah, well, what Nobody are you going to do? Anything. So anyway, that's uh, National Banjo Day. Thanks to Jewel. Uh, we have a birthday boy in the house tonight. We do. And so um, he's one of our semi-regulars here who's kind of got his head down now. His name is Sam. Go ahead, Sam. Stand up, buddy. Stand up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sam. Happy birthday. To you. All right. There you go. I, you're all red in the face. I don't know why. Oh, you'll. Oh, you're gonna sing? Oh man. Oh man. Um. What am I missing here? We have pretty much people booked every Friday night through the end of the year. So, if you're ever in doubt, just come over on a Friday night. Now, how many here tonight are first timers in the coffee house? Oh, there's several. Okay. You didn't raise your hand. <laughs> jo Jonas played for us virtually back in May. Yes, my digital self. Yes. And uh, so now that we are back in the coffee house, he's back with us. So, anyway, that's, I think that's about all I've got to say about that. Um, so, are you ready again? I couldn't be more ready. All right, I, I'm, I'm going to get out of the way. <laughs> you want to stay and sing one with us? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> you want to do that one? Mm -hmm. This morning, found something wrong. My loving baby hopped that train and gone now. Starch my jumper, I rent my overalls. I'm gonna kiss that train. They call the cannonball. Won't you shut your depot down? That woman that I'm loving, fiction, blow this town. And that mean old fireman, the cool old engineer, he's gonna take my baby and leave it on some here. Bon. 
Won't you shut your depot down? That woman that I'm loving, fixing, blow this town. And that mean old fireman, that crude old engineer. Gonna take my baby and leave me lonesome here. Surprise trumpet. <laughs> That's a Charlie McCoy tune. Charlie McCoy, the, one of the early blues uh, mandolin players, and uh, it had a band in Chicago called the Harlem Ham Fats. That's called, uh, it has two names. Sometimes that's called that lonesome train that carried my baby from town, and sometimes it's just called the Jackson Stump. And after you're done playing it, you just kind of whistle it a little more because you can't stop it. <laughs> Never stops. This is the game where we trace. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, ding, I did it. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> <laughs> I was too late. I don't think there's a part on Jeopardy where they untangle cables. <laughs> <laughs> While well, they're missing out. The physical question. Is they only have to go. You ready for this one? Oh. Yeah, you like this one? Oh. That one. Oh, yikes. <laughs> I'm not. This unfaded chair With ten years of stains Shows the same signs of wear As my own family name Riddled with doubt And afraid at the seams About to find out just what lonesome means. Lonesome, lonesome, lonesome up ahead. Lonesome. been 
sitting here Since you went away Just an old mannequin in a window display Looking surprised Without any eyes It's then my reflection First realized It's lonesome Thank you. Oh, here it comes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you see now, glutton. That's what happens for punishment. Um, I almost wasn't going to do this tune, and I will tell you, it does. I almost didn't do it because it it really requires bringing a third banjo. But then there was a bit of news lately <laughs> that, that really said, well, you kind of got to do this tune. There's a, there's a lot of danger in doing topical tunes um, ripped from the headlines of the news. You don't know how long they'll be worth anything. Not to claim that this is worth anything, <laughs> but it made me giggle. So... Well, here's, yeah, it requires a special set of strings, and I won't go too far into it, but I've never done it like this before. So if we can kill the live feed, <laughs> there's going to be no record of this attempt. But if the strings don't break, <laughs> I know. <laughs> and hold steady for about... Two minutes and 47 seconds, we'll be good. Everything was good on the Ever Given, on route to Rotterdam. When the dust storm came from Cairo and caught her in the Suez Canal. Now the Ever Given is a cargo ship, long as the way is wide. She got turned bow to stern and ended up broadside. Sometimes a straight line gets turned around somehow. Six days sideways, stuck in the Suez Canal. Now 
I've seen my share of trouble, long as the way is wide. I've been stuck in bad luck and I've been turned broadside. Nothing ever bad has he ever given. Stuck in the muddy bank with the tugboat fishing and the ever going wishing that she just up and sang. Sometimes a straight line gets turned around somehow. Six days sideways, stuck in the Suez Canal. Here she goes now. The diggers dug, the tugboats tug, and the pictures made the news. The workers all scratched their head with the mud stuck to their shoes. If it weren't for when the moon chipped in with its friend, their eyes and tide, that ship would still be stuck today no matter how they tried. Sometimes a straight line gets turned around somehow. Six days sideways, stuck in the Suez Canal. Six days sideways, six days sideways, six days sideways, stuck in the Suez Canal. It's, it's cousin ship just got stuck, right? Isn't that what just happened? Is there many, what's the name of the other ship now? Ever something. Ever, uh, it's another Ever Ford or something like mm. that? The Chesapeake? Something like that. I think it got stuck in the, in the Chesapeake Bay. Oh my gosh. Now I gotta write another one. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a whole album. <laughs> and, and a half a foot of water? And 25 feet of water. I was like, well, half a foot. That's, that's not, shouldn't have a boat in that much water. <laughs> but 25 <laughs> feet of water. Is it still there? Does it say? Oh, oh man. man. This is what I like about a folk crowd, okay? <laughs> so sometimes, sometimes you go, you go, you play a show, and you know they're checking the score on the ball game. <laughs> Very rarely are people Googling information on cargo ships to fact check <laughs> the folk tunes. That's what I like. That's the real stuff. We were Cold War babies, we loved us a good news reel. We checked the NASDAQ market when we want to know how we feel. I used to wear my Air Jordans like they were my Sunday shoes. Your daddy looked like Tom broke our baby. My mama sang the Sunday news, she sang. Life's been different since we dropped the bomb And we treat each other like it's Vietnam now Who cares what side you're on When you gotta get away, you gotta get away I'm headed down to Cuba, baby, flying out of JFK All the Star Wars babies, when they want it, they can use the force they grew up too lazy to finalize their own divorce. I got 40 years of debt, four years of liberal arts. I got a nice berg of regret, baby. Titanic to Noah's Ark, and I'm singing. Life's been different since we dropped the bomb, and we treat each other like it's Vietnam now. Who cares what side you're on? When you gotta get away, you gotta get her. I'm headed down to Cuba, baby, flying out of JFK. All right. <laughs> <laughs> 
okay. I'm headed down to Cuba, baby, flying out of JFK. So if you want my money, honey, here, you can have it all. Call it a souvenir, baby, a piece of the Berlin Wall. And I ain't a sympathizer, but I reckon I can reconcile. Or maybe we can too, baby, or maybe we should wait a while. Cause life's been different since we dropped the bomb And we treat each other like it's Vietnam now Who cares what side you're on When you gotta get away, you gotta get up I'm headed down to Cuba, baby, flying out of JFK All right, okay I'm headed down to Cuba, baby, flying out of JFK Headed down to Cuba, flying out of JF. I'm headed down to Cuba, flying out of JF, and I'm headed down to Cuba, baby. Well, it's Why, thank you. Um, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. We do a, let's do a long, long line. Can we go to that one? Yeah, that all right with you? We haven't done this one in a little bit. This one's for my granddaddy. My granddaddy grew up in eastern North Carolina in a town called Gumneck. Coastal North Carolina. I was lucky enough to, to have um, some uh, <laughs> writings of his own, some rec recollections that he had put down before he passed away and go through these um, a few years back and jotted down this little tune kind of recounting some of the things that he was recounting. And it goes a little like this. Well, the ship lay in the water With a stomach full of steam You call it liberty You say it's leaving Call it the SS Thomas Page And rocking on her deck A fresh merchant marine Call me a sailor You say it's service Call me 18 years of age tried its tide against the claim of the eastern sky with my finger on the horizon I drew a long long line and if we shake the torpedoes and make Mars in time I'll be ordering up oysters and muscatel wine I draw a long long line from where I've been to where you'll find me don't look behind me at the wake of my bow I keep the end in my eye I draw a long long line grandpa was a contract logger in eastern Carolina and he cut his way through the depression, he cut his way through the large pole pine. And I helped daddy on the farm with a free will Baptist plow. It's nothing but the journey now, said Jesus Christ. Don't ever look behind. But the bombs on 
on Pearl Harbor shook the Carolina pines, sent them rolling in the water, sent them out along the tide. I draw a long, long line from where I've been to where you'll find me. Don't look behind me at the road of my plow. I keep the end in my eye. I draw a long, long line. And if somehow I can see me through the Straits of Gibraltar Through the narrow of the darkness Where the stars greet the day Hear the sound of children playing Past the sirens of the air rage I see hills of Virginia Where I live out my days And above me all the time I draw a long, long line from where I've been to where you'll find me. Don't look behind me at the wake of my bow. I keep the end in my eye. I draw a long, long line. I keep the end in my eye. I draw a long, Long line, I keep the end in my eye. I draw long, long line, I keep the end in my eye. I draw long, long line. Thank you. What do you think, Sherry? Can you handle another fretless banjo tune? All right. This is like making someone eat their veggies at the dinner table. <laughs> Thanks. Here we go. Thanks, friend. For me, it was lima beans as a kid. I liked a lot of vegetables, but that's the one that mm. I had to really sit there and eat, right? Even even when it came in succotash form with the corn. Oh, that sounds good. <laughs> if I can't find my cable soon, you're going to hear more dinner dinner stories from me. <laughs> this is an old-timey tune, old-timey banjo tune. That's one of the things I like to do. I like to do the old square dance tunes. I like to sit in circles and play those tunes with people. And uh, the banjo is, uh, I, I enjoy the banjo, despite all of its, uh, all the jokes about the tuning. The, the many different tunings is one of my favorite parts of playing the banjo. It feels like if you just, if you need something new, you just turn a few knobs and it's, it's all new again. And uh, retuning or alternate tunings, as I'll say, on the banjo are so prevalent. Sometimes they even name the tunings after the single song that you play with that tuning. <laughs> so there is just a tuning for a single tune. What an instrument. <laughs> <laughs> Says the French horn player. <laughs> um, and so this is a... Uh, this is an arrangement I put together of a tune, one of my favorite tunes in a tuning called Last Chance Tuning. And the tune is called Last Chance.
cry, 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 cry. When the morning comes, cry, 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 cry. When the morning comes, you've got to go on. John's clock is telling us we probably got a, we probably got about two more tunes in us here, so we're gonna play. I got real confused when somebody called you Bob, John. I gotta be honest. Somebody called you Bob earlier, and then and now I've now I have John backslash Bob. Is this a nickname, an affectionate nickname for you? I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um, let's go on and do uh, let's do that promised land.
skipping a sad one so that you guys don't have to go home so sad all the time. <laughs> it's cold enough out there. We're just going to go. That's we're going right. to go straight to a heartwarming one. <laughs> <laughs> Anna will attest this happens to me a lot. I write some sad songs when I'm, a, I'm, I'm a alone in my uh, cold little back room all by myself and <laughs> thinking about sad things. And then I get out and, and I'm with folks and they're all smiling and I don't want to sing those songs. <laughs> <laughs> Make it on the albums, not, not to the shows. That's true. If you want to be sad, you can, <laughs> you can buy a record. <laughs> Is that, the me is that our messaging oh, no. now? <laughs> our, all right, Wait. there you go. Yeah, bum yourselves out, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> somebody did ask about, somebody asked about the barbecue song. The barbecue song is, is unrecorded. It, it, well, I sh that's actually a lie. It is recorded, but it is unprinted. There's a, we've played a few tunes tonight that are um, just about wrapped up. Uh, we're actually, I'm going into the studio on Sunday, and the great Reggio McLaughlin is going to, going to tap dance on that particular tune. One of, uh, one of our, yeah, Reggie's a, a national treasure, literal national treasure. And I'm super stoked about that. So you'll have to wait on that song till he's done tapping his toes. All in. But you can get old songs. Old sad old songs. Sad songs. <laughs> old sad songs. Buy them today. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Mm -hmm. You ready? Yeah. Just you. Oh, it's just me. One, two, three, four. I've never seen Jerusalem or dreamed of paradise. Last night I cried for Carolina, land of the beans and rice. was a young man in Winston-Salem leaning on a cigarette machine. Somebody told me, you don't belong here. I know exactly what they mean. Don't you cry, baby. There's no goodbye. Maybe home is a telephone to your memory. Just take my hand, baby. That promised land may be you. I scrub the tile floors in public restrooms before your mom and I had met. My music played on a worn out wild man. Now my money played hard to get. Now here you are on a cold November, born on the first of the winter snow. How we got here, I don't remember. Where we go, nobody knows. Just don't you cry, baby. There's no goodbye, baby. Home is a telephone to your memory. Just take my hand, baby. That promised land may be you. You here with me. I'll build a home around your heart with its windows in your eyes. We won't keep no rent agreement. I'll make your eggs with beans and rice. Don't you cry, baby. There's no goodbye, baby. Home is a telephone to your memory. Just take my hand, baby. That promised land may be you. Oh, thanks, everybody. We're going to play one more tune here for uh, tonight, and we really appreciate you coming out and helping us get back to playing live music in places. It's been a, a slow l a slow start back to that, and we've missed it. And so it's, uh, it is special for us to see you, and we really appreciate you uh, coming out tonight and, and being here with us. I'm going to play one here that is the title off of uh, one of those records. We're going to play a, s a song called The Last Place to Go. 
And we're going to get that trumpet back out. what Anna hears whenever so she's like <laughs> <laughs> That's what all trumpet players have to hear. That's what they hear, yeah. Galvanize them. Outside the tent, the sounds were all mad. Inside the tent, the clowns were all sad. The seats were half empty when the ringmaster took his last bow. There was candy and popcorn stuck on the shoes. There was just one reporter stuck with the news and with the voice of my mother he asked me what I would do now oh, how, how am I supposed to run away now they take in the last place to go some folks have homes in the city Mine was the show on the road. The gravel would fly off the back of my bike, pedaling circles most every night through the spotlights of TV. The trailer park windows were blue. Oh, but dreams are like whiskey in a cheap paper cup. You gotta drink them all down before they burn up and they drop through the bottom, landing all over your shoes. How am I supposed to run away now? They're taking the last place to go. Some folks have homes in the country. Mine was the show on the road. trapeze artist just lies in his net while the fire breather lights cigarettes and makes bets with the stuntman where the trick pony will end up in the Florida plains have a new sound it's the crying of trumpets shaking the ground the elephants are free and me well i'm straight out of luck how am i supposed to run away now they're taking the last place to go some folks have homes in the city Mine was the show on the road. Oh, oh, how am I supposed to run away now? Taking the last place to go. Some folks have homes in the country. Mine was the show on the road. Thank you very, very much. That's Andrew Wilkins playing the bass 
and Anna Jacobson playing the fiddle and the trumpet. Yeah, and this is me. My name is not Bob. It's not Bob. Okay. Not even close. Not even close. Yeah, there you go. John backslash Bob. Uh, okay. <laughs> You know, I failed to mention that uh, Jonas has brought CDs. He's got the merch up there on the counter, and he would prefer not to take that uh, home with him. Um, so if you've got, you know, a few extra nickels in your pocket, yeah, yeah, that would be a real nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and like I say again, uh, next week, Cray Van Kirk. Give him a listen and you'll be here. Because I heard this guy and I was like, whoa. Another good one that Joel has uh, done his job on. Joel does all the bookings here. Uh, so, nobody gets out of the coffee house without an encore. <laughs> Do you guys have, oh, I have to say one more thing. Anna snuck that trumpet up on stage when I wasn't looking, uh. and I was kind of semi half asleep over there. And all of a sudden, I heard this <laughs> trumpet, and I was like, "Whoa, where did they come from?" That's what they're for. I guess so. That is what they're for. All right. So, so, do you guys have one more song? We can play another tune, are you sure? Oh, good. Well, then I'm going to step out of the way, and let you guys do your thing. Play an old time tune that can you can you can go stomping your boots off into the night with. Snow boots though That's they may right. be. She flies, but she never, she never hollers cuckoo, cuckoo till the fourth day of July. Thanks so much, everybody, for coming out. It's nice to see you. Be well, be safe getting home.